Today on Review This Thing, we're gonna review this thing, the Bergara B14 Squared Crest. This is Adrian with Review This Thing. And if you have watched our channel the past few months, you've seen this gun a lot. We did a quick look, we got it sighted in, we did some different ammo tests, we actually tested out the Vortex Fury binoculars and how well this whole setup would work. After all that shooting, I want to give you a few more details and then watch to the end where I tell you if it's something we think you should buy. If you already have a Crest, comment below and tell us which caliber you have and what you think about yours. Alright, let's do it. Let's review this thing. As always, we're going to cover all the facts. The first part is fit. Before we get too far, the Crest is completely unloaded. As you know, fit for a firearm is very subjective. I'm 5'4", so I'm going to show you how it fits me, and then you can decide how it might fit you. There are a lot of things I like about the way that the Crest fits. The first thing is that it has an adjustable length of pull. The spacers that it comes with aren't in here right now. We took them out so it would fit me. That gets the length of pull on this right to about 13 and a half inches, which is perfect for me. Those spacers get it to where it'd be right around like 14 inches. Another thing I like about it is that the cheek comb is a little bit more elevated than your kind of typical hunter style stocks. Often I have a pretty difficult time getting a cheek weld. It's more of like a jaw weld. So with that little bit of elevation, it is much better. In my perfect world, it would be an adjustable cheek piece, but this one fits probably the best of any of the guns we have that doesn't have that adjustability. And yet another thing I like about the Crest is this vertical grip. Again, a lot of those hunter style stocks, there's too much room for me between where my hand's gonna rest on the stock and the trigger. So I end up doing this kind of weird tilted reaching forward thing so I can reach. But with this, I've been able to just very comfortably rest my fingers there, reach the trigger with no problems so I can keep those fingers relaxed and just focus on that easy trigger squeeze, which I think helps a ton with accuracy. Now we'll interrupt all the things I like to talk about one thing I'm not a huge fan of, and that is this magazine. I do wish they somehow had a way for it to be a bit more flush fit. If I'm shouldering a gun or carrying it one handed, then right there's about where I want my hand to go. I do like that it's a drop magazine, but it'd be pretty cool if they could figure out a way to make it a little bit more flush mounted. Now I told you I'm 5'4", and I feel like this gun fits me very, very well. Robbie is 5'10", and he also feels like it fits him very well. So I think there's a lot of versatility in who this gun would fit and how comfortable it can be to shoot. Overall, again, I've been really impressed with how it fits. I am going to take a little bit off because it'd be great if this was adjustable and if this was a little bit more flush. Because of that, we're going to give fit a 4.8 out of 5. Before I move on to the next section, if you like our videos and you like what we do, do us a big favor, like this video, comment and let us know, share it with your friends, and if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe. Now is the Bergara Crest as advertised. First thing Bergara advertises about this rifle is that it is designed for the high standards in mountain hunting. I would say there are a couple things that help this gun fit that role. The first is that it's pretty compact and lightweight. Out of the box, the Crest is right at 7.4 pounds, and with this Vortex Razor HD LHT scope added, and whenever I had the suppressor on it, it was just under 10 pounds. And we recently just came back from an eight day elk hunting trip in Montana, and Robbie was up first, so he carried it around the whole week. And with that extra 10 pounds strapped to his pack, he said it never felt really out of balance, it never felt heavy or cumbersome to carry around. The other thing is that the Crest comes in either a 20 or 22 inch barrel, depending on caliber. The 6.5 PRC is a 20 inch barrel. So even with adding that six inch suppressor on the end, it still wasn't excessively long. The other thing they advertise is that the carbon fiber stock can handle anything you throw at it. The stock is what they call a 100% carbon fiber monocoque stock. Basically, it's 100% carbon fiber with a carbon fiber spine that goes all the way through. And that spine just helps stabilize it and make it more sturdy. Now, I will say we didn't purposefully try to damage this gun, but we also didn't baby it. We carried it around for a week up and down mountains. There was one point where Robbie was carrying it in his hand and fell a couple times and landed on the ground in the snow and it still looks great no issues whatsoever so as far as what we threw at it the stock did exactly that and then the last thing they advertise is the ultra smooth action if you've seen our other Bergara rifle reviews you know that we have been very impressed with the action so far cleaned it a little bit put a little lube on it and it's super smooth easy to work occasionally it feels like the load gets hung up sometimes whenever i'm trying to cycle the next one i will say that that usually only happens whenever i'm trying to do it slowly so like when we're filming and i'm not just trying to throw around out real quick anytime we've shot quickly it hasn't had that problem at all and it seems to be the more we're shooting it the looser all that is getting Overall, I would say based on our experience, the Crest does exactly what Bergara says it should. I'm going to take just a little bit off for those rounds getting hung up sometimes. So we're going to give, as advertised, a 4.9 out of 5. Now onto construction and durability. 
In addition to the fact that the stock is carbon fiber, it also has QD mounts on the front and rear on each side, and it also has swivel studs if you'd rather mount your sling that way. On the front, there are actually two swivel studs, so you can have a bipod and a sling, or you can actually remove those and put a rail if you'd rather use it that way. The safety is a two position thumb safety and it's part of the trigger system so you can unload the gun while it is in safe. Speaking of the trigger, the trigger is the Bergara Performance Trigger and it is very easily adjustable from the outside. You don't have to take it out of the stock or anything like that to do that. It came out of the box just under two pounds, which is a very sweet, very smooth, comfortable trigger squeeze. Absolutely love the way it feels to shoot this thing. Now, as far as mounting your scope, you can use any rails or bases that are gonna fit that Remington 700 profile. They try to make it so it's very easy to find accessories for this gun too. Okay, now I wanna talk about the barrel just a little bit. The Crest has a 4140 chromoly steel barrel. The bolt, the barrel, and the action are all Cerakoted, which should help a ton with durability of the gun. Now, if you know anything about Bergara, you know they started off as a barrel making company. As a matter of fact, their slogan is, our barrels make the difference. So you would expect some good shooting out of this gun. Now this gun, like other Bergaras, have a sub MOA guarantee. Now if you watched our video sighting this gun in, or the two we've done testing out ammo, or that Vortex video, then you know that pretty much every round we've shot through this gun has either been sub MOA or just barely over, and obviously some of that could be me. But if you saw that Pendleton video, then you know that with that custom round, we were able to get like a .4 inch group. So I've been very, very pleased with the accuracy of this gun. I don't know that I've ever been able to shoot anything quite that well. And one more feature you can easily see is that the barrel is fluted. So that's gonna help decrease the weight of it. It's also gonna help some with getting that heat to dissipate if you're shooting a few shots in a row. And my favorite part about this barrel is that it comes threaded 5 8 by 24 so that you can add a muzzle brake to it. You know I love a brake. This one actually comes with this multi-directional brake. That threading also makes it easy to just direct thread a suppressor right on it. Now I feel like I've already covered durability pretty well, but I do want to add one more thing. We actually flew on our trip to Montana. So we put this in the SKB case we reviewed a while ago. We went straight to the range and first shot at 100 yards, literally hit the target dead center. Maybe that's a testament to the SKB case, the Vortex scope, the mounting job, the gun, or a combination of all of them, but we were definitely impressed with that. So overall, very pleased with the construction and the durability of the Bergara B14 squared crest. So we're gonna have to give it a five out of five. Now on to testimonials and reviews. So the Crest is a pretty new gun. It's only been out a few months and people don't like to leave reviews on retail websites for some reason about guns. So I had a bit of a hard time finding a lot of reviews, but the ones that I did find were very, very positive. Now I did read something on one forum or Facebook page or something where a fellow was saying he was having a hard time getting it to be as accurate as he would like in a 308. But I can tell you one thing in 6.5 PRC, accuracy is not an issue at all. As I mentioned before, if you have a Chris, comment below and let us know which caliber and what the accuracy has been like for you. As always, I'm gonna tell you the score that I found. So for testimonials and reviews, the Chris gets a five out of five. And finally, should you buy this thing? Now, as always, it depends on what you're looking for and how much money you are willing to spend. MSRP on the Crest is $19.99, but I've seen it retail at a lot of places for right around $16.99. We absolutely love this gun. It's incredibly comfortable, crazy accurate. We've consistently hit targets out to 450 yards. We haven't tried anything beyond that yet, but I have no doubts that we would be able to hit those targets too. So because of that, I'm gonna have to give, should you buy this thing, a five out of five. Hey, thanks for watching our Bergara B14 Squared Crest review video. While you're here, give us a like, share with your friends, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Go check out our website, reviewthisthingtv.com. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, and don't forget to check out our Amazon store. As always, thanks for watching.